shepherd's staff. Jesus is our shepherd and we are his flock. A sheep follows his own shepherd, knows his voice, trusts him, and knows that he's totally safe with him. The sheep will follow no other shepherd than their own. You guys can eat your candy can if you want to. In the same way, if we belong to Jesus, we are to follow only him. So this is in John and Psalms and Isaiah. So everything I'm reading is something in the Bible. It says, turn over the candy cane, so it's a J, which we did, the first letter of Jesus' name. It's made of hard candy to remind us that Christ is the rock of our salvation. The wide red stripes on the candy cane represent the blood Jesus shed on the cross for each one of us so that we can have eternal life through him. He restores us and cleanses us with his shed blood, the only thing that can wash away our sins. And that's in Luke. It says the white stripes on the candy cane represent Jesus' virgin birth and his pure, sinless life. He's the only human being ever who never committed a single sin, even though he was tempted just as we are. And that's in 1 Peter. It says the narrow stripes, the narrow red stripes on a candy cane symbolize Jesus' stripes or scars which he got when he was arrested and whipped. The Bible says we are healed of sin because he took those wounds. It says the flavoring in the candy cane is peppermint, which is similar to hyssop. Hyssop is the mint in the mint family and was used in Old Testament times for purification and sacrifice. When we break our candy cane, it reminds us that Jesus' body was broken for us. That's okay. When we have communion, it's a reminder of what he did for us. And if we share our candy cane and give some to someone else because we love that person, we're sharing the love of Jesus. I'm a man candy cane. I'm a man candy cane. God gave himself to us when he sent Jesus to earth to save us. He loves us so much that he wants us to spend eternity with him. We're assured of that when we accept Jesus into our hearts as Savior. So again... For Halloween, we had a reminder, and last, two weeks ago, we had a reminder about the twinkling lights on a tree, and now the reminder of the candy cane. So, I brought candy canes. They're at the back if everybody wants to pick one up on the way out. Okay. What do you guys think about that? It's, a good, it's good to have little reminders around at Christmas time to remind us of the real meaning of Christmas, right? And just through a simple little candy can, we can tell the Christmas story too. So let's uh, let's say a prayer, and we'll head downstairs. Yes. Dear God, I thank you for the kids that are here this morning, and for all the kids of the church. I thank you for this Christmas season, and for all the reminders that we have of what Christmas <coughs> is, and all the ways that we can tell our friends and family what Christmas is. I thank you for keeping us safe and for all of your love and blessings. And I pray for all of us here that don't feel good. I thank you that we're all here even though we're not feeling well. I pray for the others who aren't feeling well. and pray that we can all be together next week for Christmas. Thank you for your love and blessings. And I pray for Pastor Steve as he comes forward that you open the hearts for what you'll have us to hear. And for the kids and I as we go downstairs and continue to learn about Christmas. And I thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.